Well, welcome all, and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and all my viewers around the world and in the state. It's a very cool day for a change. We've been having very, very hot weather the last few days. It's welcome relief it is. Yeah, a bit of a cool wind has blown. And yeah, we have to say hello to the 24,000 viewers that have clocked into the um, Barry Up Peatling. Up to 24,000 viewers, Colin. Gone we've had, had 3,800 3, views the last five weeks. Unbelievable. Amazing. I've got some new new viewers. I'll tell them about tell the viewers about them lately, a uh, lot later. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's booming. Booming. All right. Well, the cricket season has basically ended. Yeah. Uh, apart from a bit of big bash, but um, England have finally bought. They couldn't wait to jump on the plane and get out of here. No, well, they're getting on straight after they walked off the ground. They were. They were getting they, running they, straight they, into the van, into yeah. the truck. Get out. Get away from Australia. I they, actually thought that they were thinking about that before the game started. I think they're worried about their trip home. Yeah, he worried about they're going to have for their meals on the plane. Yeah, this was that they couldn't wait to get home. Now, what did you think of the England performance in Australia Test One Day and 2020s, Barry? Well, I think my little headline said uh, that was pretty much what I thought about them. They were. Uh, Totally. Come over here, very cocky. Gonna win the first, gonna win five nil. Mm. Everyone saying, "Oh, Australia's pretty weak and all that stuff," and uh, they just capitulated from yeah. game second day of the first test, and that was it. They just, uh, as I said in my headline, they were demor demoralised. Yeah, and they, uh, oh, they, they got worse. And even in the 2020 and one days, the only thing they can take out of it, this tour is they've got two or three fellows like Butler and Owen, Mo Owen Morgan and uh, Benny, what's his name? Benny Torfella? Stokes? Oh, Ben Stokes, yeah, he was alright. He was That's a bit of a revelation. But the uh, coach has gone home too today. Yeah. I mean, he's gone. Bigger pun. Everyone's Bigger gone. Pun. He's gone. Well, that's the revelation. You're going to tell me something. The next really hot favourite, Andy Flower, is gone. He's gone, yeah. Now, the person that's been um, uh, sourced to take the role as this New England... This good information? This good this information? Is, this is very good information. You want to be good, Colin, because I'm mucking around here. Here we go. Set your face to stunned, because the new potential coach of England is, drum roll please, Come on. Shane Warne. I could not, could not believe it. I'll, no way in the world are you coaching. Well, he said that he's... He can no, fix them well, up. That, he a, has said he can fix them up. He couldn't fix... He's, he's a champion, but he, uh, he he couldn't fix him up. Shane Warne's in the paper today, in the age... Today, very I bet, I bet on big money he will never even get over to England, let alone coach him. Well, this is what they're saying. Well, we'll see about we'll that. We'll see. Well, that's a big revelation, don't you think? That's no, probably no, one of the biggest... It's the biggest cock up of all story of all time. I well, he reckons he can steer Shane England. Shane Warne coaching England. You've got to be kidding. That's what yeah, he said. Move on. <laughs> move on. Move on. Who was your man of the series in the uh, tests, Barry? We're wrapping up a whole series in the cricket season. My number one choice for the man of the series in test cricket was... Without any shadow of doubt, Mitchell, uh, Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson. Mitchell, Mitchell Johnson, get it right. Mitchell Johnson as well. Mitchell Johnson, yeah. Well, he was a star. I mean, he won it. He 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 created history in this this that Test series. By he, he was unbelievable. He created fear from the first day, and he, they they never got over it. They never got used to him, and he was just a bit like Thompson and Lily thirty years ago. They terrorised the Pums and. But Mitchell Johnson, and plus with the, with the help of Ryan Harris and a couple of other fellows, but mm. he was a main. They didn't like him very much. They didn't like facing him. No. And just proved because they jumped out. The, most of them could jump out the road. Yeah, he smashed them. And then they felt pressure, so they had the score runs off the other bowlers. And, and then, so they of course, got the Nathan Lyon, yeah. Nathan Lyon, the other fellows come in the game, and. Uh, oh, no, he, he's. Uh, no way, no, no one got close to him in the, 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 the man of the series. Like, he, he was just that, that good. That, that, uh, outclassed England and terrorised all the bowlers. Yeah, he was really good, wasn't they he? Were, he was, uh, no, he was probably never happen again, but uh, he done a, it was well done, Mitchell. Alright, well that was the test matches, which seem like uh, years ago now. Uh, but what it's about the... Ago, yeah, something like that. What about the one days? Who was the man of, this, man of the series in the one well, days? I can't believe... I was watching the last two or three games in the 2020s and, and the one days. He, he, this fella... What's his name? Like George Bailey. George Bailey, the captain. I, mean, I, I said last year, well, how come he was captain of one of the sides last year? Yeah, you, you, you um, criticised it. You criticised no, not, not criticised him, but... Questioned it. Questioned it because he'd only been around for a couple of years. And, but 
I was watching the last few, last two or three weeks, and that one day in the twenty. He's the most powerful hit in the world. But he can hit it anywhere. Anywhere he likes. Yeah. And they, when they when they go over the fence, they go no, you up the stand. And that's the thing. It's hard. Did you see that? The, well, let's talk about the last over last night, Australian innings. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Now the thing is, is can you set a field for that? No. He he was just hitting it anywhere he liked. He hit the ball in six. And they're going parts. over the fence. But it's pretty <laughs> hard to catch when they're going over the fence. And yeah. it, it time it just takes one step down, bang, deep mid off, deep cover, down there, sideways at the back. <clears throat> he is. It's great to watch. I knew they were in trouble, England, because they were saying the average score on that ground this year is one forty. Yeah, it's a big ground, isn't it? Well, it's got tacky field. It's a big ground. It's a bit slow pitch and they said the average score is 140. Australia got 195. And they just batted ordinary too. They batted ordinary. That last yeah. over, that, they were looking at about 180 at tops. And then they got an extra 15 runs in that last but over. Bailey, he, he's, he's hit 28 twice in one over. Yeah. Twice. Well, he got 26 20, last 20, 20, 28 in the test game. He, he holds the record now. In he beat, he beat yeah. Brian Lara 28. Mm. I mean, look at him. He just got he's got the perfect time. It's not so much that he doesn't dance down the pitch, pitch too much. He just one step, bang, or over there, bang through the covers, over the fence. He, he's, he's, you're amazing, Georgie Bailey. I tell you yeah. what, he was a no. There's no one got close to him. For a guy, he doesn't look like he can doesn't bash. look like a cricket. Does doesn't he? look like a cricket. Doesn't look like no. he can bash it. Doesn't look big. Doesn't look strong. No. But he has a. He just there's something about him that. No wonder when, when the IPL team, which was he was captain of, was coached by <coughs> Stephen Fleming, <coughs> New Zealand player, and he said he that the first person he'd pick every time for his team was George Bailey. Well, now I would too. Yeah, because he's just got the brains, he's got the smarts, and he's got the captaincy skills, and he's got the he's got the game. He is look. He's uh, he's twenty eight, isn't he? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. He'll be around for a while. He'll he'll be he'll be the first picked over in the IPL. He'll he'll. He's better than Chris Gale. Yeah, Chris well, he's Gale got, he's got brains. He's got more brains than Chris mm. Gale, but he, he hits the ball longer than Chris Gale. Yeah. Some of those balls went in halfway yeah. up the stand. He's unbelievable. Lost, they lost two balls last last week. So he is he also your man of the 2020 series? Oh, yeah, all over. And man of the one day series. Yeah. Uh, so should he be in the test match? Well, I don't know. It's because he's it's, got he's got totally dropped. He's been dropped. He's been dropped. Well, he's been he was captain of a test side last year, Colin, and he's he now he's dropped to go to set. No, I think he's just a potential one day in 2020. Yeah, a specialist. Because it, you can't do that in tests. No. Because it, the, the, these bowls. But it does take a lot of thinking in tests, like a lot of brains. Well, it's just not normal to do that in a test game. Mm. I mean, uh, Shane Watson's the last fellow to uh, destroy some bowls in a test, mm. but there's not too many who can do it. No. Because he's just about finished Shane Watson, too. Yeah, he is. Is he going to South Africa? He is in South Africa now. Well, it must be very good pals he's playing way. a game in a couple of days. He must be very pals he with uh, Michael Clark, I think. And Lehman. No, I think, I think he, uh, he, he shouldn't be going. I, I'd rather have George Bailey going than Shane Watson. Yeah. But he's been dropped. He hasn't performed over the last five tests. He was sort of... He's always going to. He's going to. Yeah, yeah, average. But, you know, they keep on, they keep a hold of Watson. They love he's him. a gunner as well. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Watson. Yeah. He's a gunner. He's going to do this. He's, oh, he's going to do that. What, he's, he's, his injuries are right. Next week, comes back. He's break up. Oh, he'll be all right next week. He'll be all right next week. Get a life. Retire, Shane Watson. Oh, well, let's have a look at the highlights package. Um, what about Cameron White and Judge? Um, Georgie uh, Bailey. Georgie, Georgie. Look, last week, what's today, Monday, last Thursday, I think, last Wednesday night, they played in one day. One day, it was two, it was two down for yeah. about 40. And George come in, Georgie Bailey come in with Cameron White. Cameron White was 41. Yeah. And within half an hour, George was 69 and Cameron White was 45. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe <laughs> it? Way past Cameron that. White is probably the second best hitter in the side. Yeah. And, and George Bailey doesn't look like he can smash. He doesn't, he doesn't look... He looks too, not, he not very solid, is he? He just looks like an average sort of guy. Well, he's only about 11 stone, 12 yeah. stone. The, the, the gift Cameron White, who is one of the best in the world, yeah. 41 run start, and just beat him, and made 69 and out. What I like about George Bailey is he doesn't take himself too seriously. No, no he he, he's not... He's no sort of... Um, he's not very cocky. He's not cocky. He's not cocky. He doesn't ponce no. no. around. He just smiles and he ha enjoys himself. He just gets on with it. Yeah, and he and he treats it like you know this is sort of something we do. So and I like his attitude. He treats the bowls with contempt, and they're they're terrible. They don't know where to bowl to him. Mm. 
and hit it over the top of his head, hit it backwards, sideways, yeah. and back around the corner, and nail the other fence. Mm. Now, what do you think of James Muirhead? James Muirhead. Muirhead. Is, is a, would you believe that could be a relation of one of my mates in Richmond? Yes. Billy Muirhead. Yes, he's not talked a very, about him. not a very good, uh, common, not, not a common not name. No. But I might ring up Billy Muirhead the next couple of days. He's from Victoria, isn't he? El. James Muirhead. El Tone, I think. Here in Victoria, yeah. and uh, this fella, I reckon all the all the test sides around the world, they're in for a bit of a. Next ten years, this fella is going to be another Shane Warne. Mm. You reckon a little, little, bit, bit, little, little bit, bit of maturity and he can... Look, the way you, if you see you bowl, mm. well, I used to bowl the spinners myself, yeah. Carl. Yeah, very good right. spinner. And you get a bit of form that he, uh, The first wool he bowled last night was spot on. I mm. mean, most leg spinners take a two or three over yeah. or one over to get loosened yeah. up. and He is just a natural and he's, he's so calm and collected. And, mm. and that ball he bowled, Stuart brought out. You mm. see that? Yep. Just bang. Pitched on the yep. off stump, took the leg stump. Yep. But clean bowl. Yeah. So There's a different game of 2020 they are going for the shot. But just, that's what I'm saying. He, he doesn't get carded around. He got one for 17 last week, got yeah. four overs. Yeah. I mean, and all, if you get four or five, six runs an over. There we go, it's just the posty. I suppose you bring him all my money. Yeah. But he was only yeah, all like Google four money. overs, four overs for 17 runs. Unbelievable. That's, it's extraordinary, Colin. Extraordinary. Some get 26 and one over. So that's, that is just the, the recap of the Australian season, really. Now, the, Australia have moved on already to South Africa. What's your thoughts on South Africa, Barry? I reckon uh, it'll be a lot closer over there, but I still think that, uh, well, my prediction probably 4-1, Australia. Is it a five-test series? No, it's three, I think. I think it's a three, yeah. Or 2-1. They'll win one. Yeah, they'll win one. And but Australia, Australia could uh, whitewash them too. Australia too cocky? No, no, they're getting, they're, they're, no, they're pretty full on these. They don't muck around now. They just, when they got someone down, they keep them down. They don't, yeah. don't let this, because mm. they just, like last night, they just. We'll, we'll get. We'll once say we're going to be probably after 120. And they basically had a Victorian team, man. You know how many Victorian teams. Some of their players would, wouldn't get a game anyway. No. Going around the world. No. And as soon as they get into the Australian mix, they yeah. they gel in and. Because Hastings uh, and. Uh, well, they had Wade. Cotonale. They had Wade. They had. Um, you th think about this, Finch, Wade, oh, Finch play Cameron White, Hodge. With, well, Hodge is now. All these Victorian players. I think Bradley Hodge. You're Jim in a champion football, uh, champion, a champion cricketer, mm. I just think you're uh, sick to the IPL. I think it's nice that they've given him a game. Well, it's very good. It was pretty, yeah. pretty didn't get a hit at the MCG. He did. I didn't get a no, hit. Didn't no, you're right. Hit. He was in the he team but the didn't get a hit. Yeah, you're right. His, you're right. Absolutely right. Well, I do think that uh, he's had his little sort of... Uh, Go. Sort of give him a little present to have another game, but yeah. stick with a... But he still gets over the IPL. He's played everywhere. He's played yeah. over in Sri Lanka, and over in Bangladesh. Well, everywhere. this is where the World Cup, 2020 World Cup is in Bangladesh. He played two seasons but there recently. Said, uh, I, I don't think he'll go. Mm, I don't maybe, think he'll go. Maybe. No. We've well, got, we got that many cricketers <coughs> for all the games, Colin. Yeah, more than you can pack a stick It's the best, uh, best amount of players we've had the last 50 years. Yeah. We can pick to pick from. Well, that's a cricket wrap-up. What about your Cheerios and your new viewers, Barry? And I'll, I might talk about Chelsea football. Club. Oh, yeah, Chelsea football. You haven't got it written down on the No, uh, we, here, that's a bit slack of me, but Chelsea football club went down there last yeah. Friday Hang night. On. Went down and I checked them out and there was, uh, wasn't a big crowd, big uh, turn up of the players, probably yeah. 18 or 19 and 20, but uh, it didn't look too flash to me. They haven't got, he's got a big ruckman down there. He, he looks like he's moving all right. They've got Toddy Gar in the back, who was a superstar last year. We're playing for Frankston, for Frank's mm -hmm. really good Frankston seconds. Yep. He's back for this whole season, which is a bonus. And but apart from that, there wasn't too many. Uh, uh, what's his name? Curtis is back there trained. He's about two stone overweight. He'd be alright if he gets his weight off. But apart from that, there wasn't. Uh, so what's your early prediction for the season? Well, it's not looking good, Colin. Mm, yeah, so you're worried. No, say I, never worried. Worried. I never worry about anything. No, but you're worried. No, worried I'm just, for the just concerned a bit. They've got some more. They've got concerned. some. Concerned. They've got some. Defcon three concern. Concern, yeah. Well, because I'm a, yeah. I'm a pretty loyal supporter and uh, loyal supporter I like and to member. See, I like to see what full bar member. No, I'm, I'm a full YouTube member now. Yeah. But they uh, hopefully next week. And they've got three practice games. Mm. Things might change the next couple of weeks. I hope so because it's uh, not looking good. But. Uh, so we're changing seasons now. This is the official change of seasons. But um, a little bit of cricket from here on. It's going to be. We might cover the South African tour. Next, for three picks, next week's going to be 50-50, 50-50 cricket, and uh, 50, 50 or 50 
percent oh, cricket half each, half and fifty percent football. Well, fo- when's the night football night game uh, start? It starts next week. Next week is We're it? Next when week. is Richmond playing? Do you know? Uh, in about really? a week and a half. Yeah, ten days. Mm. I reckon they might have win the premiership too. Like premiership Tigers. Uh, maybe that's that's a sort of a, uh, and I'll a poison them, chalice. And I'll predict them. Richmond will finish in the top four this year, and I'm going to back them, back them with my hard-earned cash to get cash, in the top four. Cash money. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, what about? Oh, I've got some new viewers. New viewers. Tell us yeah, about new viewers. Yeah, I've kept them out today. As a matter of fact. There we Colin. go. Tell us. Go. Viewers from Spaniola, Spain. Yep. Netherlands. That's Dutch, isn't it? Yep. Bahrain. What are they? Darkies. Darkies. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Bigger fan. Yes. <laughs> bigger fan. Bahrain people. Uh, colour people. Yeah. yeah. Hong Kong. Yep. The Philippines, this is a new one. Yep. In oh, well, you, you've always been popular in the Philippines. Yeah, no, I'm more popular now. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Japan. Japan, yep. you went and did a, you did a tour of the Philippines just to promote, oh, your, yeah, YouTube, to to promote your YouTube channel. Oh, I did, yeah. yeah promotional did, tour. Yeah. <laughs> On the Filipino channel, TV channel. Okay. Ukraine. Re- Ukraine. Yep, Ukraine, uh, part of the Russian Empire. And Malaysia. So there you are. Cheerio to all you people. I hope the other people around Norway and Germany and Latvia and... Hope you're enjoying the videos and keep, keep on hitting. And uh, a bit doing. of personal Cheerios. Oh yeah, the old my darling little Annie and uh, Carla, and she's just passed to finish third in her class, Colin, in her exam. Right. Very clever, Carla. Ninety-two, ninety-two point five. Wow. And she's doing doing all the drawings. She's very she's a very clever girl. Yeah. Of course, Lloyd. I was speaking to Lloyd yesterday on you know, Skype, and yeah. uh, they're all going all right. Joe Van's a bit better now. Wasn't too flash a couple of weeks ago. Keep it up, Joe Ben. Mm. Get healthy. And uh, of course, who else we got there? Jimmy, the cook. I hope everything's going right in the Philippines. They had a power blackout yesterday. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 10 hours. That's normal. Normal. So that's about all for me today. That's all for me, and I apologise to Annie for this video going more than 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye.